It's been a little bit since I did a video about snakes, so I figured I'd show my new rack. Um, this is a hatchling rack I just picked up. It's a custom build from Brace Exotics. And I gotta say, these racks are awesome. If you own multiple snakes, then I would definitely start getting into the rack system because for what I paid for this is actually less than what you'd pay for like a 40 gallon breeder snake setup. So definitely check them out on Facebook, uh, Brace Exotics. This is the smallest one they had. I'll probably, well, I almost got this one filled up already. So after I start actually getting babies, then I'll probably go up. They got, I think the biggest one they got is an 18 rack. Um, again, these are custom builds. Very, very sturdy. They got uh, back heat tape. I'll get a shot of that that I'll put in here, but show off some of my future breeders here. It's been a while since I, I think, showed off any of my snakes. She's a little bit hissy. This is a female het pied. Try to get her in focus here. And you can tell that she's definitely got the pied markers. Pied is one that you can definitely tell with these lines that go down like that. And she, once she gets to breeding age, will be paired with this guy. This is my pastel pied male. He's a low white pied. I actually like the low whites better than the high whites. Try to get him in focus so you can see his actual coloration. There really 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 pretty snake and he's got some cool markings but again this is a pastel pied male who we got in here yeah we'll leave snakey alone until he sheds this is my other Het breeder I got. This is Enchi. He's an Orange Dream Enchi, 100% uh, Het clown. Try to get him in focus here so you can see his pattern. He actually just shed yesterday. But I'm definitely going to be going for clowns and pides. And I got two sisters here. These are just normal het clowns. I got them, so obviously when they get bigger, I can breed her with my clown and hopefully get some clowns out of the deal. And the other one, this is everybody's favorite. This is Bitey. She's kind of an asshole. She likes to bite. It's my only snake that bites. She's bit me numerous times. It doesn't hurt, by the way. All I gotta do to make her bite is give her a kiss. Isn't that right, bitey? Ah! And it's scary every time. And this... my pastel leopard female she got really really pretty markings I'm gonna probably breed her with my clown her first year she's ready to breed that way I can get some uh, hopefully pastel leopard clowns I don't know if you've seen them but they are awesome looking try to get her to focus here really cool leopard but that's all I got for in my hatch tank right now. I got another 
uh, actually super pastel pinstripe coming I'll do an unboxing video of but if you're looking for a cheap snake rack like I said especially if you have multiple snakes uh, brace exotics they're actually in Kansas I drove down and picked this up and oh, somebody's eating um, it's the bad thing about when you buy a rack especially right now with all that's going on uh, like animal plastics and everything I was looking up prices and uh, the lead times to get stuff like that made from some of the bigger ones uh, the other I can't remember what the other big reptile one was but they're like three months out before they even start on it so you got to pay your 400 and some dollars for your adult rack or hatchling racks a little bit cheaper but then you got to wait two to three months before they even make it and send it so again definitely check these guys out on Facebook and that's it for this video.